<clears throat> What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. It is the District 95, and we are going into part two of the Grand Theft Auto 4 playthrough. I hope y'all enjoyed part one. It was just uploaded a few days ago, so you know, make sure to like and subscribe. Make sure to comment because you know we need to bump up the algorithm. And let's go ahead and get into this gameplay. Uh, let's see. Vlad. Yo, Nico. Walk, walk. All right, you know, getting by. Yo, we need to help with stuff, you know? Will you come on my face on Dylan Street? Sure, I was looking to branch out a bit anyway. I'll see you soon. I got you, Jacob. Just gotta handle some shit with Vlad, you know. What's up, bitch? Big mouth prick. Very cautious. Sit down. Cousin uh, Nico. That's it, Nico. Not big mouth prick. You funny guy. I try. Yes, and this one's. I'll let you take this shit out of me. Take this shit? Yes, me give up. I don't understand. Ah, people who fuck with me get fucked with. Okay, fine. Calm down. Whatever. Some old man not paid me in months. And I'm not the kind of person who is treated this way. Old bastard owns the china shop in the Camden Avenue in Dukes. Here you go. Don't hurt him. Just teach him a lesson. I don't need a bath to teach a lesson. I could kneecap this motherfucker if you want. I am strapped up. No, 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 fuck. Where to? We're going to Camden Avenue. All right, then. Let's do it. This is as far as I can go, okay? Why, thank you. some shit for you. Pay me, mother f Stop it, shit brain! I pay up now! I pay up! Here's the money! I hope you and Blanche choke on it! Sure, whatever. Should have paid me the first time, bitch. Well, fuck you, too. Hey, Uncle. You 
minister de job? Get love his money? Of course. He paid up. I had to smash the shop up pretty good, but he paid. Don't worry your little peasant head about it. Stupid jerk made a mistake of telling me how much he gets that shit for back east. He's the biggest crook in the neighborhood. Lucky I don't tell his customers what they're paying for. That it? Can I go now? Sure. Get out of my face. And fuck you too. Shit. what Jacob wants. Fucking okay, assholes don't move. Shit. Damn, where is this nigga? <laughs> Fuck he live at?
reversing that bitch. Give us a quicker getaway. Oh. Move, bitch. Okay, this freeway was probably the worst possible idea.
Yeah, we'll be. Are you with me, brother? Yes. I'm going to put some road boy on the ground. Talk to Vlad. Take care of Vlad first. You're going to have your license revoked. What? My friend, smoking in a bar is a crime. Friends? You're joking, right? This is a joke. Then you're playing hey, a joke on me. Mallory, right? tell Fetty his cousin is okay. He just walked in. Great girl. Yeah? Stay away from her. Of course. Now listen, you did good to be good to but now one more peasant is trying to avoid pain. Boo. 
Moskovsky jerk who owns the laundry in the Masterson Street thinks that this country business is done different. Says he won't go cops on us. Okay. So? Jerk needs to be taught a lesson. Give him a bit. Let him know mine is right. Hey! Stop that smoking back there. First rule. Easy, Easy buddy. Go on. Do what you gotta do. But remember, you see a cop? You don't know him. I see anyone, I don't know you. Ho, ho! What's up, bitch? Shoot this guy. You got me. You got me, okay? Why have you no paid land the money you owe him? I'm going to. I've just been having the trouble getting it together. Not an impatient man. You will be getting the money even soon, or your wife shall be using your washing machines to get blood out of your clothes. Do you understand? I do not ask twice for a favor. I understand. I will get it through. Why? Thank you. <sighs> I spoke to the laundry man. Why? Because your cousin won me a lot of money and until he pays me. 
your parents up in a box. Yeah, yeah you ass is mine. What the fuck do you mean mine? Hey, you are a pretty nice guy, all that. Bam! 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 Just die in my Why are you doing it? What's wrong with you? You got jumping? No, I had a late night last night. But it was Mikhail. over here. Ah, this nigga always vlogs. We walked all the way over here, so you could smoke coke? No, listen. Ah, that's bad. Huh? That's bad. Man, become skeptical stuff. It's like that's a flexible thing. It's your stomach robber. Nice detail. Yeah, listen. Whatever, I don't know. Oh, yeah. So, I need you to get up to Dukes and get a car for me. It's a silver police. And it's back of the project by DIC Subritation. Okay? Sure. <laughs> you got keys? Uh, no, your girl. I need you to take the car. Ask all old Mikhail the money. Take his car and tell, huh? We're gonna drive over there? What? How are we gonna drive over there? No. You're gonna take the train, buddy. You think I wanna be in a car with the peasant? Come on. I'm gonna go meet somebody. <laughs> Have a little party. Okay. Fine. <laughs> When can I shoot that motherfucker? Why can't I just fucking drive? I gotta get on the train. Two car train, what the fuck is this? Silver Blister. What the fuck you gonna do about it? <laughs> Bitch. Thank you. 
worse than the lid of the dirt. Relax, man. You don't look your age. There's a car on. Who would understand the car? Just take it over there. Get it into my locker. Just a moment. Can they give me the car? He's a little bruised, but he gave it up easy enough. Good. Dead guys can't be injured. You are lucky. Shit, bruised. I shot that nigga and his friend. What are you talking about? about he bruised up. Bitch, I have a gun. Why would I square up when I can just... And that takes care of that. I put the car in your locker. You're not as stupid as you look, Yoko. Come back to see me at the parcel. Let's go. 
Nico, you do not know how great it is to have you here with me. Before you arrived in Liberty City, things were terrible. I still remember the emails you sent me, cousin. You should have told me how bad things were in this country before I got here. Okay, things aren't easy for us here, but together, we are doing all right. America is an opportunity for a new beginning. You are a neither one. There is no such thing as a new beginning, Roman. With every day we live, we pick up new baggage. Baggage that we must carry with us for the rest of our lives. There's no dropping it and pretending we are fresh and clean just because we get off a boat in a new place. Stop being so dramatic, Nico. Time is a healer. We live and we forget the past. Nothing helps a man forget, like right round American titties. You have to move on from the things that happened to you and think about all the opportunities in this country. Chances to make lots of money. Chances to get college girls into bed. Jean said they both finish, Soranya. I heard that. I haven't forgotten our language completely. Damn, I gotta go all the way over here? Shit. Cousin, I salivate at the thought of all the naked flesh in there. Let's go. Okay. Ladies, Daddy's here. I'm about to say, Ron, fuck you at. back on I bet you're a real sensitive lover, aren't you? 
aren't you, sweetie? They don't build them like this, Peg. Bitch, why are you hitting me? Oh my god. Hold up. I think I've had enough of the G Street. Can we get out of here? Sure. Gotta be a faster way home. Fuck. <sighs> Guess not. What are you doing? Driving, bitch. Thank you, cousin. We should hang out again soon. Have to drop a couple other bodies, but I got you. I'm gonna go see what this weak ass bitch Vlad won.
Thank you. Hey, Nikki. What do you have? Glass of water. Glass of water. I'm a ginger ale kind bing, of guy. Bing, bing, you are ball. dead. Wake up, you moron. You got me. Come over here. Sit down. Oh. You remember Ivan? No. The guy you saw me talking to. This guy. Uh, this guy. Oh, yes. You guys are the little kids. Very funny. What would you say if I told him he was going to rob your cousin? I'd say, what the problem is he got with my cousin? Hold on. Hey. Hey, hey, gorgeous. No. I can't talk right now. What are you wearing? No, I'm underneath it. Great. Listen, I'll call you back, huh? Sorry. Who was that? Never you mind. Was it Ivan? Ooh, that's funny. You know, for a dumb yokel, you're a very funny guy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and for an annoying dick, you're really an annoying dick. Well, it's a real shame then that I'm the guy with the powerful friends. And you are the little punk whose only friends is some fat weasel who drives a fucking cab! So, why is Ivan going to rob my cousin? Because I want you to kill him. What? He's angered Mikhail, Mr. Paulson. Offended him. He thinks he's stealing some paperwork from her mom. You catch him and kill him. Then we say it was just a robbery, that's bad. And what if I say? I don't want to be your hitman. <laughs> that Mr. Paulson will be very angry with you. And your cousin. Hmm. Okay. I knew we would understand each other once I put it in this simple way. Now, go wait for him, Vatikar Tipro. Fucking asshole. Hey, gorgeous. Yeah, where were we? Okay, now listen. Let's talk about Oh, this nigga jumping off construction beams and shit. Ha! 
Maybe I'm doing this against my better judgment. Get up. Once you're dead, you can't be all bad. Stay out of old beach. Thank you. You won't regret this, man. I am out of here. Wanted to live anyway. Get away from all these people from back home. Get into the real America. You never gonna see me around here again. I owe you my life, man. You're a good man. You're a good man. Thank you. <sighs> Maybe I should have killed him. Maybe not. Who knows? You won't be seeing your boyfriend Ivan no more. Oh, are you going to miss him? No, I'm not. I'm getting enough food at the moment. I tell you, it's so much better if women already have a man because you don't have to deal with all this shit all day. Take Melody, for example. Fuck you! You say this to my face and I will break you! Sorry, stealing your car. Some Russian asswipe, bang your woman, but I won't. 
But you're fucking dead! That was before I knew you cared! Am I going to kill this nigga now? Nico, wait! Don't do anything stupid! Wait for me! Oh, shit. Okay. Alright, uh, let's get the fuck. Bitch ass niggas gonna yeah, die today. Took that shit. You were the stupid one, Platty Boy. Nobody fucks with my family. Give him a massage? 
I was in the army. We were going on a mission. We ambush a squad who had killed a lot of innocent people. They were our enemies. But we never did it. There were 15 of us, all boys from the village. But one of us betrayed the group. It was seven. For money. Twelve people died, they escaped. I know the traitor was not me. So for ten years, I've been searching for the other two. One of them lives here. Why are you telling me this now? Do you always get sentimental after you kill people? You kept asking. Wonderful! You're here on some revenge mission for something that happened ten years ago, and you don't care whose life you ruined in the way. No. For what? I don't know. I just want to know why they did it. Right now, I don't think you're going to find out. Let's hide the body at least for a while. Put him in the river. And as such ends the story of the weak ass nigga known as Vlad. Good fucking riddance. busy uh, second chapter of this playthrough but again I appreciate everybody that is going to follow me as I do this playthrough and I hope you enjoy the gameplay We got some more to do. Is this man doing? Oh, Roman, what are you doing in the dumpster, man? Out in here? What are you talking about? Get out of there, man. Freaking out, man. A big bull. I saw them. Don't be ridiculous. You're being paranoid. I'd be. Fuck you. Fuck you. Everything was fine, and then you show up. I never did. Because first of he's a psychopath. He's going to kill us. Because we killed Blood. Blood was his man. That's how it works. You killed their guy, they killed you. Wrong. Get out of there, man. Listen to me. Vlad was a piece of trash. Really? They don't care about him. All they care about is making money. So, we say we work for them. Look at out of there. You smell like cabbage. I don't want to, man. I'm shitting myself. Oh! <laughs> 
Get out of the dumpster, Mr. Fragment. Come on, Fatty. The boss wants a little chat. Got knocked out with a fucking chopper. This is crazy. Slapping me, bitch. We have to get him to stop screaming. You shouldn't have brought him here, Andre. Why not? You've been a bad boy, Mr. Duffy. And the boss is not happy. Oh, no. I shit my pants. Not yet, but <laughs> who are you working for? Uh, my cousin, Rom. <laughs> Don't be an idiot. That's not good enough. I'm gonna saw off your fucking arm. Speak! Okay, okay. You did my seat of the ass. What do you want me to say, huh? Mm. <laughs> oh, very funny. Do you think you're so smart? <laughs> no! I'm tied up in the basement along with my mom. But some eight traitors we would have had some. So no, I'm not that smart. Shut your fuck up! My fucking wife is watching television. I presume that's the boss. <laughs> oh, Lord. What are you doing? Nothing. I mean, I was finding out who he is. And? Who is he? He is his cousin. You were about to cut up some guy in my house, making all that noise to find out he's his cousin. Where did you find this idiot? He was a friend of your sergeant when we were on political stop. He's an imbecile. It's okay to kill my employees. If he is an asshole, yes. <laughs> Do it! I agree. <laughs> asshole, look at me like that piece of shit. <laughs> now listen, Nico Belli. You are very lucky, Bob's an idiot. The only reason I keep him around is because I fuck his sister. Look at me. You owe me. I put some dickheads in my neighborhood. Try. And we found a buyer for the TVs. Yes, a buyer. But you got to get them for us so we can make the sale. Can you want that Roman? Here goes one. So left, right, left.
Get out of there, you're fucking dead. I don't want no trouble, buddy. Open up the bag. You got any flat screens? <laughs> you're gonna be disappointed. Fuck! Nishna! this block make the right and around. Move, bitch! Okay, now that is the end. I left the band where you say. How's Roman? It's okay. A little scar, but okay. You did good. Mikael needs someone like you. Stop by and see him sometime. I'll try my best. Anyway, that is now the end of the second part of the Grand Theft Auto 4 playthrough. I hope y'all enjoy this when it drops, and I will definitely bring uh, be bringing uh, more of this to y'all in the future. So stick around. I think you'll enjoy it.